Hey guys, Eric Carnivore from Nerdy Geek Talks, for all your nerdy geeky needs, here with the first episode of NGT Updates. This is going to be uh, probably a shorter podcast of just me that will not necessarily be daily, but uh, more than weekly, ideally, depending on news. Uh, today is Transformers related, but not all of them will be. That said, uh, Today we're just going to dive straight into Wonderfest Winter of 2019. Uh, so, there are some major, major things to go over. First off, we are getting a new Takara Legends LGEX. Uh, I don't know if that's been confirmed, but it's almost certain that that is the uh, line in which this new prototype for Star Con Convoy has been revealed. It is a remolded version of the Power of the Primes leader class Optimus Prime, giving it new shoulder guns, uh, new, I believe, crotch uh, legs, and something that goes over the chest. However, the actual chest windows themselves are not remolded to look like Star Convoy. There's a remolded part oh, that goes over the chest, that kind of, sorry, I keep hiccuping, um, that kind of uh, reshapes the um, windows to look more like Star Convoy, is a new head, etc. So there's other things, I, we do not know what the inner bot looks like, at this moment at least. However, what's next to it is even more interesting than that, because while that is remold uh, on the lines of like Die Atlas and such, for and big powered for LGEX, the thing next to it is um, a new mold, it appears, of Armada Optimus Prime. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell, but it appears that it would be Vo Voyager Deluxe-ish? I'm not quite sure. Um, but, regardless, the new mold itself looks fantastic. So, these are two things. I'm very curious to see if this is a brand new mold just for that, if it's going to get released by Hasbro, etc. We don't know yet. It's very new and crazy, but also speaking of new and crazy, we have uh, another reveal, and that is the next Beast Wars masterpiece. Um, well, there's also the Bumblebee reveal, but let's talk Beast Wars Black Arachnia first. There's a great prototype shown off, uh, which has a stand. I don't know if that's intended to come with the toy. I'm kind of thinking not, but I don't know. But either way, there is a clear blue plastic web behind her, which looks quite nice, actually. And then the toy itself, just in robot mode, which looks very show model accurate. Very, very curious to see the alt mode. I'm guessing that will probably happen later in the weekend, or maybe not. Uh, but the numbering for this, see, uh, so MP44 is the new Optimus, as most people know. Then MP45 is the newly, and, and it was just leaked recently, and now it is being revealed at Wonderfest, we'll get to it in a second, is um, Bumblebee version 2. And then apparently, we have a gray prototype of MP Hound, actually at the event as well, numbered as 47, whereas Black Arachnia is 46. So Hound is getting released. Even though we saw it forever ago painted, now it's here in a gray plastic prototype, uh, but not till after Black Arachnia, which has just been released, which, in my opinion, does look very good if you're into the Beast Wars Masterpiece. I love Beast Wars. I am not collecting Beast Wars Masterpiece because I can't afford it, but I'll buy a Tigatron. Uh, so I do, I am very happy, though, for everyone who wants one. Black Arachnia does look very, very show accurate. Um, as previously mentioned, Hound is there. Not really much to say other than it's the same thing we saw before, except this one isn't painted, it's all gray. But what is in front of it is very interesting, whereas uh, MP44 is Optimus Prime, uh, the new version, version 3, I suppose, at this point, since MP10 was the second Masterpiece Optimus Prime. Uh, but this Bumblebee is Bumblebee Master Masterpiece Bumblebee version 2. It looks very much more like the cartoon model in both robot mode and vehicle mode. Uh, the robot mode itself has a lot of panels on both the back and underneath his feet. A lot of the alt mode is, you know, stored away there in different... It, it looks like the alt mode essentially comes apart into a bunch of panels. You fold the, all those panels into the back and into the feet. Um, that said, I... As someone who doesn't even really like Bumblebee that much, this looks really, really good. Like, actually really good, in my opinion. I'm I'm surprised that I like this. i not gonna lie, I even... I cannot believe that I am cons I've considered buying this. I'm not going to. If they do a Cliff Jumper version, maybe. I don't know. 
<laughs> but man, I really like this. I really hope they do a blue version, in all honesty. Uh, if you haven't seen pictures, I highly recommend you see it. I don't like G1 Bumblebee that much, and I did not like the first masterpiece at all. This one, however, I, I, I was very much against the idea of a Bumblebee, uh, a second masterpiece Bumblebee. I thought it was ridiculous. Seeing it in hand, um, yeah, uh, I have to admit, I was wrong. I think this actually looks really good, despite its it has several flaws that are obvious when you look at all the panels and stuff, but it looks really good. He really does look like the cartoon, and I do like that he has a blast effect on his gun. I am digging the fact that they are working blast effects into the new toy line. Um, so that is all nice and dandy. Meanwhile... <laughs> There's also something of note. Uh, Jetfire also is on display here, uh, which we already have had revealed and such, but we are now seeing that it is indeed far, far bigger than... because uh, we can see a comparison next to the Star Convoy, which is a remold of Power of the Prime's Leader Class Optimus. Some people were theorizing that uh, Jetfire himself wasn't going to be that much bigger than the previous leader class since siege leader classes have been mainly voyagers with armor because the higher parts count is why they're shorter but people have been theorizing oh jetfire just going to be what we're used to as a regular leader no he is far far bigger uh still has the weird jetfire face whereas the skyfire is fine but the jetfire they kind of messed up the head sculpt in my opinion but hey We'll see more of it, and the toy itself still looks very impressive. But that isn't necessarily uh, exclusive to this event. What is, though, which I need to double-check on the names, is some new, I believe it's Nike, uh, revealed product. And it is, they're in several series of tweets that show MP44 Optimus, but also there are three other Optimus Masterpiece Optimus Primes that are new there. However, these three other new ones are based off of the MP10 mold, not MP44. And they all have unique color schemes, and these color schemes match up to a shoe that they are displayed with. So, the first one is black with some, I believe that's teal and white, uh, and even some, like, white with, like, black cracks on the side of his uh, legs. And that one is called Elephant, and it is at Atmos? I'm not sure. But either way, it is next to the shoe, in which it matches the color scheme with. We have no idea what the price is, where these will be releasing, or anything. Uh, the second one is mainly a, is it a, a gray. It's a gray with some gold detailing and purple highlights. Uh, both of these two are my favorite. I think Elephant might be my favorite because it almost looks like they combined 7-Eleven Optimus and Nemesis Prime, and it looks fantastic. But the other one, the gray with the purple, I love the purple detailing. It's called Viotech. It looks very cool along with the shoes. And the last but not least, which is by far the most interesting but probably still my least favorite, but I do appreciate how different it is, is the Duck Camo, which is... Uh, the shoe itself is mainly camo with some orange and black. The toy itself has several small orange highlights, some brown highlights worked in as well, but mainly it is a dark green and a light green, but it is mismatched. Instead of, like, painted camo, they have basically taken the light green and the dark green and alternated which sides are on, like, his right, uh, car, the, the truck, the right front half of the truck is dark green, but the left half is light green, so his, the two halves of his chest don't match colors, and then the, the portion underneath that, in like his ribcage area, is the opposite green on each side, so that's how they're doing the camo, and it looks quite interesting in my opinion, but I'm not particularly going after these. However, I am very, very interested in trying to obtain the Elephant Shoes and Prime. We have no idea, again, how these are going to be released, whether it's uh, like a promotional thing or if, you know, it's a pack with the shoes and the figure. We have no idea at this point, but I do have to say these look very pretty and they're very not done with the MP10 mold, apparently. Um, no sign of the Ghostbusters uh, Masterpiece Optimus Prime that's been rumored for a while still. Uh, but Wonderfest isn't over, so we still have no idea yet. Uh, no matter what, uh, I do have to say, all these reveals are just fantastic. Uh, I know a lot of people are very, very excited for Star Convoy. He's probably my least favorite out of the new reveals, but that's not a bad thing at all because they're all really, really good. Um, 
Bumblebee surprised me by how much I like him. Armada Optimus steals the show. The new mold looks so, so amazing. Um, so I think that's about it for this episode. But uh, definitely go check all this stuff out for yourself. Because it is, in my opinion, mind-blowingly awesome. So uh, definitely go check out all those things. Uh, stay tuned for, to Nerdy Geek Talk for, you know, Steel City Bots will talk about this and other stuff, but also keep your eyes peeled not long after this goes up, probably the next day. I'm going to be premiering a new podcast, not necessarily nerdy. Uh, it's only going to be its first couple episodes on here, uh, but basically just to see if you guys like it, and then it'll be getting its own feed where you can check it out. It's called, uh, well, the channel we're starting in conjunction with this new podcast is called, uh, Brotatoes. It is me and my brother, Jesse Crownover, uh, doing YouTube videos back and forth to each other with different rules and such. Go check out the YouTube channel if you want. Um, but the podcast itself will be going up here. You can hear it, and we're just discussing different uh, interesting, uh, which I'm going to call it, interesting uh, conversation topics. And then we are also discussing some new sleep cycle methods that uh, people like to use apparently to be more efficient and for this next week until the next episode we're going to try out some of the ones that we mentioned uh so if that sounds interesting at all i guarantee it is a fun conversation however there were some tef technical difficulties so bear with us this is just the first episode afterwards i promise we're gonna have it sorted out by the second one so uh definitely check that out and that's about it this is probably a little bit longer than most ngt update uh podcast will be but there was a lot to talk about, and we have that new podcast premiering that I wanted to give a little shout out to. So, thanks for listening, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.